Yeah, I've just got a little basic Logitech wireless mouse right now, so wireless optical, so. The SO I played is perfect on mouse and keyboard. Hmm. You, sir, are a lucky man. I have, I'm actually behind on the uh, on the podcasts that Joe and the gang do. Um, I need to get caught up. Um, I drive for a living, and so I spend a lot of time on the road. And I used to uh, listen to the podcast to kill the drive time, but. I, I mean, actually what I had to do was it was an older vehicle so I just I had to burn everything to disc and then listen on disc and uh, then the CD player went out so I'm kind of going through withdrawal I listen when I can but I don't have a whole lot of time at home Guys, I'm gonna have to fight. Good God! Ooh, shield block, huh? Pretty impressive. Where you at, baby? I know you're here. He's not hitting nothing. I got time to search everything. Whoop! <laughs> Almost spoke too soon. Yeah, I'm not going to mention the company name, but it's a multinational uh, corporation that delivers snacks. And if you've ever eaten Doritos, you've you've tasted their products. You know, I can think of better jobs to have, but it's it's a pretty good job, honestly. And it pays the bills, gives me a little left, so I can consider doing things like building computers someday. Not rich by any means, though. But uh, yeah, the CD player went out. I just got the radio now, so I don't get don't get to hear the podcasts. And uh, the company policy prohibits use of electronic devices like MP3 players and smartphones and stuff while driving. So I don't get to don't have that option to fall back on. So I do have them in my phone. If I'm ever somewhere like waiting somewhere for a really long time, I'll uh, pull out the headphones, pull up a podcast, and listen to part of it. But I'm probably, oh, at least 15 episodes behind right now. I wish I wasn't. I actually started listening to the podcast, um, episode three. Discovered it, got caught up really quick with episodes one and two. And it's really nice to see how the guys have evolved and, uh, the relationships have evolved, and how the whole podcast itself has evolved. It's been, it's been really awesome. So, pass on uh, good thoughts from me to them. They, uh, they're they more well loved by a lot of people than they really know. I don't have any consoles. Kneecap that bitch. Um, I got a phone earlier this year, but I'm one of those guys that... Uh, pardon me, I'm smoking. Um, I'm one of those guys that uh, I'll hold on to a phone for like four years before I upgrade. And uh, I build up a lot of... Uh, I don't know if it's points or what the hell it is through AT&T, but... I build up a lot of credit, and so then whenever I do upgrade, I can get like a really good device for uh, very little or next to no money. 
Um, and I got a good HTC One Plus. Um, and I think it cost me like 40 bucks. But, um... If I could get this guy to come out, I'd pull out my bow and drop that. I might do it anyway. Auto saving. Love the auto save. See, it doesn't even wake him up. That makes no sense to me. Never did figure out the whole favorites thing and stuff, so I always go into the menu and just switch items. I'm a bit of a novice gamer. Um, you know, like I said, I used to play uh, Atari and stuff like that when I was younger. Um, back when Apple II uh, PCs were all the rage, I played a game called um, Ooh Samsung Galaxy S4. Yeah, I'm a little ADD, by the way. I want to replace this tool for him. <laughs> nice. Um, I uh, used to play a game called Bard's Tale. The Bard's Tale. And uh, on an Apple II. Which was not my Apple II. But it was actually a computer at work. So I would work my shift. And then I would spend another six hours sitting down in their break room. Playing on their computer afterwards. Worked at McDonald's back then, by the way. I was pretty young. I was like 20. Um, it was all basically a text-driven game. and uh, But you got to create a party of uh, six characters as fantasy setting. Um, it was a hell of a lot of fun at the time probably would suck now but they did a remake uh, I do have a console I guess I, I, I guess I kind of fibbed there I've got a PS2 um, once there was a Bard's Tale uh, release for the PS2 which was uh, nothing at all like the original game but uh, your character was voiced by Carrie Elvis so that was kind of cool Carrie Elvis of the Princess Bride fame among a slew of other uh, Hollywood favorites. Um, when I was uh, young, uh, read The Hobbit when I was very, very young. Read The Lord of the Rings shortly after that. Probably I was probably 12 when I read that, so I probably didn't grasp uh, all of it. But I have read it several, several times over the years. Um, read the Silmarillion once all the way through and then portions of it off and on through then it was very textbook almost textbookish to me um, so it was a little boring um, the only reason I managed to get through it and was at all interested in it was because of uh, Tolkien and, and the background I had in the mythos but it explained a lot of things it was really nice um, really want to get into Lord of the Rings online, but that's a keyboard and mouse game too, isn't it? Does it have controller support? Do you know, Joe? Come here, baby. Did I lose Joe? Where are you going? That's cool, I understand.
Oh, you remember Bard's Tale. Either I've got a hell of a lag or you were away for a bit. <laughs> Might be a hell of a lag in the chat room, I'm not sure. Yeah, Bard's Tale was awesome, man. I played a lot of that game. I don't, I don't remember any of the characters or anything. Yeah, that was over 20 years ago. But it was a fun game for, the, for its time. Yeah, that guy's already seen me. That must be lag. Yeah. Um, my question was, do you does uh, Lotro have uh, controller support? Okay. Uh, of course. I walked all the way down here for four septums. Nine septums. Hardly worth a walk. Just use the keyboard. Okay. I'm actually going to get on YouTube and watch some tutorials about that because I'm I've never played an MMO in my life ever. Um, so I, I'd like to give that a shot, but uh, I really don't know where to begin. I thought Lord of the Rings might be all right because generally people that like Lord of the Rings <laughs> seem like they're pretty cool people. But that's just my experience. I'm sure there's trolls or whatever you want to call them everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna, I haven't saved in quite a while, so I better do that. Six years, wow. I was always really impressed with uh, Tolkien's work that he created. I mean, it's it's so amazing that someone can create a you know from just from their imagination create a world like that, and the consistency is is what's really impressive with the whole thing. I mean, it just blows me away. Man was a literary mastermind, absolute mastermind. More of these things, and then I face like I don't know six Draugr in the next room. Okay. Here we go. Too close. Run and I might need to run. Come on, baby. Come on down. Coward. Yes, I agree. Complete genius. Uh, absolutely. And I really did. What do you think of Peter Jackson's movies? I was I was impressed. Um. I mean, it wasn't 100% true to the books in every regard, but uh, I found that uh, he really got the essence. And uh, there was a, I mean, it was it was pretty damn true to the book. I mean, for a movie, it was good. Um, especially from a guy that started off making B-horror flicks, but then again, so did Sam Raimi, so. Nope. 
Nothing over there. That's my uh, carry weight too. Okay, I can carry about another 71 pounds, so... All right, bye, Joe. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for stopping in. Congratulations on me and my first chat member. this door destination here in Blake Falls Barrow which uh, I'm gonna pause for a second so you guys can get a look at this very impressive 